Uh, okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come stand at the front of the room. Back. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? Sounds like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Wait, did I miss something? What's the festival? We'll just end up embarrassing yourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much! We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Jerry has been working on posters and I designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but doesn't that tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event? Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing! Oh god, no. <laughs> performing? For... Uh, Monica? Yeah, we're gonna have a... We're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each of us are gonna choose a poem that we say during the event. Oh god, no. But the cool part is, we're also gonna let anyone else come up and recite poem too. Oh god, no! Well, actually, that part isn't that bad. So you're already spending it all on... Hey, let's do this, dude. So you're already spending it on... All the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Eee! Siori, who's been calling a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't! You didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Eh, well, I did. You really think that it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, uh, I agree with Nasuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, yeah, guys, come on, grow a spine. It's not that hard to read a poem. Nasuki, uh, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Nasuki and Yuri has never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask them for to recite their poems out loud to a, out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, you know, inspire others to do the same. Yes, yes, whatever, you can do this. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! Uh, yeah, speaking for the festival, I actually wouldn't mind saying my poem for other people. But, I, I guess this all depends on how my character actually feels in the game. Is it about expressing your feelings? Being intimate with yourself? Finding new horizons? And having fun! Yep, that's always the important part. Having fun! Yay! That's right, and those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. If it all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Masuki and Yuri remain silent, so Yuri looks worried. I guess this leaves me no choice. I agree. Let's go, my main man, Cap! I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that's what Yuri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Masuki doesn't have any arguments left. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Yeah. Thanks, Nasuki. What about Yuri? Yeah, what about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expected faces. Hey, <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Hey, yeah, dude. Just, we're gonna be disappointed if you make the wrong choice. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's everyone! That's pure pressure, kids. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. 
Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're gonna practice reciting them in front of each other. But no way! Monica, is this too sudden? If you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Other people from her school. Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Well, let's see. Okay, um... So... You know what? No. Let's just keep going. I'll just put this into multiple parts and whatever. So, uh... Yeah, let's keep going. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her reflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? Glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. So Yuri looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. I don't even say Natsuki's. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Woohoo! Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Yuri? Uh, I'll go next. Yuri's fires all up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keep her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's... It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? Um, probably because she's inspired by Monica and stuff like that. As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. The quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she now enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back in reality and bounces around her as if she is bewildered even herself. I don't know. Maybe she has, like, I don't know, some type of second... Like, are those people that have, like, different personalities? Maybe it's more like she has, like, a second mind that just comes in whenever, like, writing and reading are involved. Or, I don't know. Just ideas and stuff. Hi! It's up for me. <laughs> Dude, you don't have to save the- No, no, never mind. Be a hero. Whatever. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her. We were, close, we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good! Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay! I guess I'm next then! So Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Yuri. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, I'm trying to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. So Yuri begins her poem. I'm actually gonna use that tip. That sounds good. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem is an aimless cheery like Sayori is. Serene and bittersweet. Yeah. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she says she likes my poems. 
like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Very finishes and we applaud. I I did it! Good job, Sayori. You even cat like this. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. And it might be that other poems weren't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. You might need a little more forcey on them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. Eh. The next time, I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? Masuki? Mm. Don't make me go before Cat. It's not like I get paired to you guys anyway. Might as well let Cat voice everyone stand there's a little bit before I have to do it. Thanks, you're such a great friend. Suki. It's fine, it's fine. I just might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive an applause anyway. Dude, I suck! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that I'll improve over time, though. Yeah. Maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Nasuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Suki Bri grudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... called... But why are you all looking at me? I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, exactly. Because you're presenting? <sighs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Suki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Though she's still a little unused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Suzuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. Rex feels like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Suzuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She goes back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. When it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Nasuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making fan flips, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I can probably find some other poem to recite instead. Why don't I just... Hey, these are our own poems, right? Confused. Are you taking... You know what? That's fine, too! It doesn't have to be your own. Oh, okay. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting all in, putting in all this effort for the club. Dude, I can only hold on to this so much. It makes me really happy. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, We'll finish filing tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. What day is it? Oh, Monday. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. I'll do my best to get through it. it it's for the sake of the club? And impressing Monica? You're saying that? That's why you're doing this? Okay. I have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Wrong. 
boys. Ready to go, so you're... Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hey! Don't make fun of me. We, like, live near each other. Or something. Hee <laughs> hee! Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, eh. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay. Why? It's okay, cat. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayuri is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayuri. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayuri fumbles with her words. You're not the only one that... See? You're not the only one that's fumbling today. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asks to walk home with you. What? <laughs> huh? What would you do? I guess I would say yeah. Sure. I don't care. What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh. Oh, so... Why isn't there an option of just walk with both of you? I will walk home with Yuri. I would still walk home with Sayuri. Are you? I'm, I'm saving this. Screw it. I don't care. Yes. Uh, return. Um. 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 <laughs> okay, wait. If I walk home with Yuri, would Sayuri feel bad? I don't think Sayuri is the. I mean, yeah! Walking home with Yuri, huh? I just thought that make my heart pound. I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Does she seem so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said! <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez. There's not even at any point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Maybe. I just like to think about it. It's this line... It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Oh, don't say that. Need you? Sayuri. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Only in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. What are you trying to say? You're gonna still be my best friend. Conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. It was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. You can't just lie to her. If there's something that makes her happy, they would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen at that time? Yeah. Well, this is where I'm gonna end it off. <laughs> My voice needs a break, and uh. No, like, my throat, it's gonna, it's like, I can't speak, okay? That's, like, the bottom line. So, sorry for, like, this episode's, like, terrible reading skills. I was usually doing good so far, but, like, the, I mean, like, these parts are just gonna be, like, me just fumbling and stuff like that. Anyway, um... Also, I'm sorry for being monotone, like if I am being too monotone. Some people say I'm monotone when I read stuff, and I guess I could be, but I don't really. Uh, when I hear my own voice, I, I sound normal. So just sorry for people that are going to watch this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next part we're going to go to the... Well, I don't know what happens after this part. Like I said, my friend said, you "No, know, after the third day, things get, you know, they get spooky or something." Yes, I hope things get more exciting in the next part. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. So I'm gonna end the uh, part here, and next time we'll do stuff. Doki Doki Literature Club. Goodbye and whatever.